Welcome to another Tech Byte video. I'm Dwayne Lessner from Technical Marketing. Have you ever wanted a Nutanix cluster to auto scale based on usage? We are going to look at an AWS cluster that is going to automatically add more nodes based on memory usage and also remove nodes based on memory usage. Let's take a look at the environment. Our on-prem environment is in Phoenix, Arizona. We have a scale-out Prism Central managing multiple clusters, including HV and vSphere. Our AWS environment has already been pre-deployed in the North Virginia region. And what we're going to do by using Prism playbooks is that when the memory of the cluster goes to above 80%, we're going to add additional nodes. And then when the memory usage goes below 50%, we're going to subtract nodes uh, with a, a back net of always having at least three in our cluster. Let's go take a look how we did that. We are in our clusters portal. We have a three node cluster running called Global Reach, which we're going to work with today. Uh, we're going, now we're in Prism Central. We have a custom alert and a playbook set up to uh, shrink and expand our cluster. So on the alert side, we have a, a user-defined alert, which is taking uh, a critical warning. If the cluster goes above 80%, and we'll trigger off that. And if the your cluster goes below 50% memory, it's going to shrink the cluster. So this is the alert we're using. In a production environment, probably going to want to change the trigger alert to some amount of time, just in case uh, you know, you don't want any false positives. So if it's running for a while, then the alert will actually kick off. Here on our playbook, uh, we have one branch on the critical path, which is going to run our expand. Uh, that expand script is just adding one node at a time. And then our autopilot within Prism Playbooks is going to keep testing that alert condition uh, for 90 minutes. And it'll just keep running. So it's going to do that for five times. And you can change these values to what makes sense in your environment. On the shrinking side of the house, uh, we also have another script that runs to shrink the cluster. That script is also checking for uh, a minimum of three nodes. We're on, this time we're waiting 20 minutes and then we'll resolve the alert. And then so if it needs to reduce the cluster again, um, the alert would be resolved. So then the alert would fire again um, and it would continue on. Um, so that is the playbook. Now we have the, that cluster that we saw in the portal. We have a bunch of SQL test VMs ready to be spun up. So we have 117 of them. Um, so we're going to power them on and that will get us to go over 80%. In fact, we're going to go well beyond 80%. Uh, so we're just going to fire those up in the background and we can see that it's, uh, you know, we're, that alert should be firing now. And so you just got to give it one second so the alert came up and so now it is firing that critical path alert on our playbook if we go into the playbook we can see that um it has ran it's in a pause state that pause state indicates the autopilot setting so now if we go into our clusters portal we can see that the desired state has been updated so now it's going to add the node into our cluster so we have a brand new uh, bare metal node adding to our cluster. So this will take about uh, 60 minutes to add the node. We've just uh, sped up the process here. And then now we're going to shut down all of those VMs. So our cluster will get well below the 50% needed to fire the next alert off. And then we will see that alert show up. So we are now removing the node. And that's one way where you can have a very dynamic environment in using the cloud. We were able to see how easy it is to auto scale our environment by using the APIs provided by the clusters portal and using Prism playbooks. If for more information, please check the links down below and also go to our Nutanix community uh, for hybrid clusters for more information. Thanks for watching.